And December's now just around the corner and it could possibly promise some snow. I'll talk you through all the details and the full weekend forecast in a couple of minutes. It turned cold today for many of us, didn't, didn't it? But I hear that snow might be on the way. Can you imagine, just for a moment, the pressure? We are both mums of small children, but I'm also a weather presenter. The potential of snow and Christmas around the corner. Yes. The pressure that I'm under yes. to deliver is huge. <laughs> so let's just backtrack and remind ourselves, as I remind my children, that we don't just need it to be cold to snow. The answer is potentially, yes, we do have snow on the way, but let's just go back to what we need. We need two ingredients. We need it to be cold and we need some rain around. Also, did you know that whenever the rain leaves the clouds, it does so in the form of snow. And what we need is for the air to remain cold enough for it to remain as snow all the way down to the ground. Okay, so let's have a look over the next few days and then you can explain this to your children. So we've got cold at the moment, then things get a little bit warmer, as you can see by these yellow tones. Into Sunday, it's not going to be warm. It's just warmer compared to what we're seeing at the moment. And then the cold air comes back in. Still no sign of rain, though. However, look what's happening there towards the south. That system moving in, just nudging into France by the time we get to Wednesday. And then into Thursday, if we zoom in on that, you can see that, aha, uh -huh, there are actually some potential bits of rain around. So as we move towards Wednesday and into Thursday, there is the potential of some snow towards the south and the southeastern parts of the UK. It's a developing situation, but when you are asked about snow, you will know exactly what's happening and you'll be able to answer the same. Let's have a look now at the weekend forecast. Sorry, I'm basically giving everyone a baby weather presenter course every single time I come on. But I think it's important that we all know what's going on so that if it goes wrong, we all know the excuses as well. Right, this weekend, this is what's going on. It is largely dry, cold and sunny on Saturday. Do yourself a favour, make some plans for outside because it is going to be glorious, briefly milder comparatively on Sunday, but turning rather cloudy and damp. And as I say, it gets cold again into next week. So tonight could actually be our, one of our coldest nights of the season so far, a widespread frost. We're actually going to be seeing it less cold down the eastern fringes though. That's because we still hang on to that brisk wind. There is the potential for a few showers, perhaps a little bit sleety in places, but nothing much to write home about. But it's cold and away from the towns and cities, it's colder still. Then we look ahead to these glorious conditions for the start of the weekend. If you wrap up warm and perhaps even go out and choose a Christmas tree, you are going to be seeing some lovely conditions. It's cold, bright, sunny and the wind's easing as well. What more could you want? As we have a look ahead to Sunday, things do get downhill a little bit. It's a cold start to the day, but then we've got the system moving in from the west. And this brings a slightly less cold air mass. But even so, with less sunshine around, it's still not exactly going to feel balmy. Temperatures a little bit warmer, but as I say, it gets cold again as we start a brand new week. I think I've given everyone a factoid for the weekend. I we'll keep you know. our fingers crossed for snow, but I'm not promising it. Oh, well, let's hope. <laughs> Becky, thanks very much.